Okay, AP Calculus, I want to spend a little time demonstrating the second fundamental theorem of calculus. So here we, here we have it. This is the second fundamental theorem of calculus, which suggests that, that ddx <coughs> of the definite inter integral from a to x of f of f of t dt is actually equal to f of x. So let's just prove that. I, I, I guess more than that, what I want to make sure you get is that there is not a chance in the world that you're going to get through calculus, especially AP calculus, without being really good at this. And this is very, very doable. So let's kind of take a look. And there are three or four ideas, but I'm just going to cover one of them right now. And I'm just going to demonstrate that this is true. So here we have, here we have, f of x, big f of x is equal to the definite integral from. No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to do it from this. From eight to x. <clears throat> from a to x of the third root of t dt. First thing I'm going to do here is just going to start to integrate this a little bit. It's, I just want to rewrite this a little bit. So I'm going to just rewrite it and say it's from 8 to x of t to the 1 third dt. All right, I'm going to start to integrate. As I do that, I'm just going to switch t and x. And you'll see what happens in just a second. So I'm going to switch this. I'm just going to call this x now. And I'm just going to do this, I'm going to say that it is equal to x to the 4 thirds, isn't it? Over 4 thirds as evaluated from 8 to x. All right? And from there, I'm just going to remember this is a complex fraction, so I know that some of you are making a little squiggly mark for me right now. This thing just comes up as it's reciprocal, so this 3 is here. This 4 goes down to here. x to the 4 thirds as evaluated from 8 to x. And if, as I start to evaluate that, it would look like this, wouldn't it? Remember now, I'm going to take f of x minus f of 8, right? This is fundamental theorem of calculus right here, isn't it? So it would look like this. It would be 3 fourths x, because I'm evaluating at x, to the 4 thirds, minus this, right, minus 3 fourths we want it of 8, so 8 to the 4 thirds, right? And this is me evaluating here. If you don't mind, what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out this 3 fourths. I'm going to take my 3 fourths out. Here's my 3 fourths, this one and this one, and leaves me with x to the 4 thirds minus 8 to the 4 thirds. 8 to the 4 thirds is the same as cube root of 8, right? to the fourth power. So you don't mind, I'm going to evaluate what's in yellow uh, and what's in pink first. So the third root of 8 is 2, isn't it? So that's 2, and 2 to the fourth is equal to 16. So after, when I evaluate this arithmetically, I'm just going to get a 16 here, if that's OK. 16. Hopefully you're noticing that that 3 fourths is still on the outside. So I'm going to factor that back in. And as I do that, what I'm going to get is 3 fourths x to the four thirds minus 12. And the, if you see I did that, I just 3 fourths of 16 is 12, right? <clears throat> now all I'm going to do is just prove, right? We're trying to demonstrate this second fundamental theorem of calculus. We're trying to demonstrate this rule right here. And I think that's what we've done. Because if we go back here and we take ddx of this, if we differentiate this, you can see here that we're going to get x to the one third, right? And x to the one third, of course, is equal to the cube root of x, right? Which is where we started. So that's what we proved here, isn't it? We just proved that ddx of the definite integral, a to x of f of t dt, is equal to f of x, and we just proved it. Um, I think we're not using too much time. Maybe we should do one more. Let's do one more quickly. Is that right? Let's do one more really quickly. All right. You know what? I'm not going to do one more. If you want to see another one, just watch the next video so I don't waste your time. Um, let me reiterate this to you. You're not getting through calculus one, two, or three without knowing this. And it's definitely, absolutely going to show up on the AP Cal exam. And I want you to be looking forward to that, not dreading it. I promise it's going to be there. And this is very, very doable. So keep practicing. And let me hear your comments. And please like my video.